What it do? This is Will Farrow back with another episode of Straight Out of a Comic Book. I'm riding solo dolo today without my SOACB panel, but I got my great sidekick Wood right behind me. What up, bro? And we got a lot to get into today. Actress Zendaya has been cast officially as Mary Jane Watson in the new Spider-Man reboot. And I gotta say, big ups to the people that cast her. I know that we've had a lot of Spider-Mans come out since Tobey Maguire and his horrible rendition of Spider-Man. But I definitely think that Zendaya would bring something new to the table. Now, she's been met with a lot of controversy as people are kind of accepting that she is, that the movie is becoming a lot more modern and, you know, up with the times. But a lot of people have given her a lot of backlash for it saying that, you know, Mary Jane is one of those characters that shouldn't be changed. Myself, on the other hand, don't agree. Disagree like a motherfucker. Because let's face it, in all the Spider-Mans that we've had hit the theaters, no one has been a real captivating lady in all of these Spider-Mans. Kirsten Dunst was not Emma Watson was just unbelievable as a blonde. And Bryce Dallas Howard, I don't even know who the fuck she was in these movies. It was just literally like, we just needed another blonde in there. I think she was just dealt. What we haven't seen from Mary Jane in these films is that a lot of them do not have that spunk that Mary Jane has. So I definitely look forward to seeing Zendaya on the big screen as Mary Jane with the red head and all. Because let's face it, we always know black girls do redhead better. I mean, come on, Rihanna did it, Zendaya's gonna do it, uh, Ariel. I know she don't look black, it's just because she's been in the water for a long time and that's why she didn't got pale, ain't no sun hitting her. Where the people are. Big ups to Zendaya for being cast as Mary Jane Watson, breaking the barriers down. Go ahead and own it. This is your opportunity to own this. No one has done it, so don't follow the trait, change the game, and I think that's what Zendaya is gonna do. Now, in other news, we have found out a little bit of different teasers these last couple of weeks of what's coming down the DC pipeline. Our first one was Henry Cavill kind of giving us a sneak peek at the possible black Superman suit. Now, we can't really tell. We can only see kind of the pattern inside the Superman. But we can definitely know that it's the emblem S on the Superman suit. Now, for those that haven't seen Batman vs. Superman, unfortunately for you, uh, happy for me, that Superman did die at the end. I'm sorry if that was a spoiler. Maybe I should have put spoiler before I said that. Whatever. But Superman does die at the end of the film. And so with the black suit coming, it's definitely going to be a resurrection of him. Be just honest for a second. I don't give two shits about Superman or his resurrection. I don't give a damn about his black suit. I ain't going to give a damn about his fun time mullet. I'm not going to give a shit about any of that. If Superman wants to really impress me, stay dead. Keep doing what you're supposed to do for the Justice League, just do it dead. Hashtag, keep Superman dead. Hashtag, Superman death matters. Keep Superman dead, you're gonna have a great film. Now, from an unbiased standpoint, I do look forward to seeing the black Superman costume and Superman being resurrected. Only because we haven't seen it on live action. The closest thing we've gotten is maybe General Zod in Man of Steel. So I definitely look forward to seeing Henry Cavill with the long hair, hopefully some facial hair as well ready to do some damage. So I look forward to seeing that in the Justice League, which of course comes out in, I believe, 2017. And now keeping up with the small little details that they've been giving us in the DC universe, Ben Affleck released on his social media some test footage of Deathstroke. That is right, Deathstroke is definitely gonna be in the DC Cinematic Universe and it looks- Ben F for phenomenal. Now, there hasn't been any information given on who's been cast as Deathstroke, when Deathstroke is going to be featured. There's a lot of rumors going around that he's going to be the main antagonist in the solo Batman film, and that he may make an appearance in Suicide Squad 2 or the Justice League. We're not really sure, but whenever it is, I know myself, I'm looking forward to seeing him slice the dice. Now, it wouldn't be me if I didn't have my own reservations about it. I'm going to be honest with you, the first time that I saw the footage, I was a little hesitant because of the helmet. I really feel like if the, the Deathstroke helmet is super major key. And just so in case you don't know, DJ Khaled is going to tell you. Major key alert! 
Deathstroke helmet is definitely a major key when it comes to it. I like the helmet that's a little bit slim fit to his face. Now I understand that that may be a little bit difficult when doing the live action, but that was really my only gripe behind it. Besides from what I did see, I'm loving it and I can't wait to see what Deathstroke is going to do and what they're going to have him bring to the cinematic universe. We just got to wait to find out. I have now introduced a new segment in the SOACB with the movie choices that are coming out in theaters. And my choice to go see in theaters this Friday is Brotherhood. Brotherhood is Noel Clark's third and final installment of his London Gangster Trilogy. If you haven't seen Kid Old Hood or Adult Hood, you definitely need to check those out before watching Brotherhood. It is the final installment and it is going to be so dope. Noel Clark has done such an excellent job of bringing all of his characters to life and seeing such drama unfold when it comes to the gangster streets of London. If you need something to go check out tomorrow in theaters, definitely check out Brotherhood. I'm giving it a 4 out of 5. It's our DVD releases. DVD, DVD, and Blu-ray. Uh, Blu-rays and DVDs. I can't sing, I'm sorry. Please forgive me. Coming out on DVD this upcoming Tuesday is Now You See Me 2. Now You See Me 2 has definitely transitioned as one of those great sequels that have outdid their predecessor. It is definitely a great thing to own on DVD. I already have mine on pre-order with Amazon. I can't wait to check it out. It's starring Daniel Radcliffe, Jesse Eisenberg, Woody Harrelson, Daddy Franco, or Dave Franco as most people want to call him. It's a great film. You should definitely add that to your collection. It should be already out for early digital download. Make sure you go check that out if you're gonna copy. And also coming out on DVD is Nina. Nina starring Zoe Saldana is a biopic about the legendary Nina Simone. Now even though there was some controversy behind the film, that still didn't take away from the great portrayal that she did of Nina Simone. If you like controversy, if you like great acting, if you like biopics, Definitely something to add to the collection or definitely something to check out to rent or watch. It's the movie review times. Movie reviews, we're going today with Final Fantasy King's Glaive. I hope I'm saying that right because I really don't know how to pronounce it. I was like, was it King's Glaive? King's Glove? Anywho, it is definitely a pickup from the Final Fantasy VII Advent Children franchise. This movie looks completely amazing. I am a huge Final Fantasy fan, and they have done nothing wrong when it comes to this film. King's Glaive goes above and beyond, over the rainbow, and to the moon with this film. The CG, the animation, the people that talk in the movie. I know voiceover actors, whatever, but it's just so exciting that I jumped over my words. I definitely recommend you go and check it out. It's going to be in limited theaters, but... I'm loving it. I'm giving it a 5 out of 5 when it comes on the animation films. This is definitely something that you want to see and you want to check out. And the only thing I can really think of is, when are we going to start getting movies like that here overseas? It'll be in limited theaters. Check the internet. Check your local theaters to see if it's going to be playing. And if it is, definitely take your girlfriend, take your best friend, take the dude that owes you $5 and make him buy the ticket. But go check it out. I'm giving it 5 out of 5 once again. And that's all the time we have for today. I want to thank everyone that is checking out not only the Straight of a Comic Book Show, but is checking out Brunch Blunt and the rest of the shows that I'm going to be having that is coming to my YouTube channel. If you haven't subscribed already yet, subscribe today. Don't miss out. I have shows coming Monday through Friday every week. I'm probably the first one in the history of YouTube to ever do that by himself. So make sure you check it out. Make sure you like, share, subscribe, and comment on this video. Let me know. Did you like what you hear? What would you like to see on here? And what would you like to see us to discuss? I've been your street nerd impresario, Will Farrow, and we are out. Peace!